Okay, now, what is unsigned subtraction? Unsigned means there is no sign bit here. We're trying to subtract the subtrahend, which is called and, from our minuend m. If no end borrow occurs here, then it means that your m is larger than n, and the result is a non-negative number, which is correct. But if an end borrow occurs, then it means that your n is larger than m, and the difference m minus one, uh, n is subtracted from 2 to the power n, where n is the number of your digits here, and the minus sign is appended to the result. Let's take a look at the examples here together. You see this one, the first number, your, uh, is the, this is your minuend, and the second one, subtrahend, is subtracted from the minuend here, and the result is this one, you, you see, and there is no end borrow occurring. So it means that there is no need for correction, and the result is all right. So is your, your M is larger than N, no problem. But here in this one, you see, when you make the necessary calculation, the result is this one, but with a barrow out. So if there is a barrow out, so you see four digits here, 2 to the power N is uh, 16. You write your 16 here and subtract the result from that 16, and the result will be the corrected result will be this one. And you append an extra minus sign. It can be a flag or variable or something. And this will be your result here. And this is called the unsigned subtraction. So uh, the, su the subtraction from 2 to the power n is... Uh, it has another name which is called the taking the two's complement of that number. So to do both unsigned addition and unsigned subtraction together in a common circuitry, it would look like this, right? The, the, the most straightforward approach would be like this. You will have a binary adder level here to add these two numbers, two four-bit numbers, and binary subtractor here where you try to subtract uh, the uh, mm, subtrahend from your minuend. And if a barrow occurs, then uh, this will trigger your selective two's complementer here, where you take the two's complement of the number, and this would be your result. If barrow is not triggered, this would be your result directly. That's it. And the addition result is ready here. So, in fact, you do the addition and subtraction always at the same time, but use one of the results using a quadruple two to one multiplexer. I think you know this from our previous chapter, how we design with multiplexers. And if it is a uh, subtraction operation, you use this value as result, uh, this vector, uh, because it's quad vector here, like a, a quad multiplexer here, and you use this one. And if it is an add operation, you will use the left value here. That's it. That's idea. That, that's the idea. But if you introduce the complements as an approach here, this complex circuitry can be much more uh, feasible or understandable or convenient. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the complements. There are two complements we're talking about here. One of them is the diminished radix complement of n, where we uh, take the r minus 1's complement for radix r. Uh, it means that, uh, like, you're, mm, in fact, uh, interchanging all the bits, inverting all the bits in your uh, data vector. And radix complement is just subtracting from uh, r to the power n minus capital N. So, that's it. But the thing is, that you can keep this in mind as well. This radix complement is taking diminished radix complement and adding one. That's it. Uh, so that's it. So what you have here is subtraction is done by adding the complement of the subtrahend. I have told you a few moments ago that our most basic operation is addition, right? You first take the complement of the second number and add it to the pre, uh, add it to the minuend. And what you will have here in the end will be your uh, difference, right? And if the result is negative, 
take the two's complement again. Now let's take a look at binary one's complement here. Here you have an example for eight digits. So what we're trying to do here is uh, we're subtracting the number if we want to want to find the uh, complement of it. Subtracting from uh, to 255 in uh, decimal form and of course this is its binary form here in fact what you're doing here is complementing each individual with uh, with a not gate or something that's it uh, so this is called your diminished radix complement which is called the ones complement and your radix complement is uh, binary twos complement uh, so you subtract the given number from this time uh, from full radix, uh, and, uh, r to the power n, okay, uh, 2 to the power 8, for example, it's, what, what, what would it be? It would be uh, 256, right? And you subtract this number from two, uh, 256, and the result will be your binary 2's complement. You can note that the result is the 1's complement plus 1, that's it. So this one can be used in designing hardware as well. This trick is very useful and you can use it in designing your hardware as well. This is an alternate twos complement method that will help you uh, do when you're uh, doing with pen and paper and in your exams, it can be helpful. Given an n-bit binary number, you copy all the least significant zeros until you see the first one here. This part is exactly the same. You mirror this, you will copy this. And when you uh, met the first one here, you copy it, and the remaining ones will be inverted. Ones complement here. You see, the remaining ones are directly inverted here. That's what we do here. Now, let's try to do it together. We're trying to take the complement of this number, right? So, until we see the first one here, we copy them. 0, 0, 1. Okay, 0, 0, 1 here. Then, okay, we, we have seen the first one here. Then we invert all of the remaining widths. Okay, this will be 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, which is your this one. And this would be your uh, two's complement. This is an alternate method that can help you when you're uh, making the uh, operations uh, with your pen and paper. It can be convenient. But uh, if you want to implement the circuitry, I think this one is much more convenient, right? So, how do we do uh, subtraction with two's complement? For n digit unsigned numbers m and n, find m minus n in base 2. What, do, what you do here is you add the two's complement of the subtrahend to the minuend. You see, we do this. We take the two's complement of the second number, subtrahend, and add it to the minuend here. If your m is larger than n, the sum produce an end carry which is discarded and the result is this one. If there's an end carry here, we do nothing and the result remains. But if your M is less than N, then the sum does not produce an end carry. And it means that uh, the uh, two, uh, two, the, the N is larger than M. And to obtain the result, you take the two's complement again, or the sum, two's complement of the sum again and place an minus sign to its left, append the minus sign on its left. Look at the example here, for example, you're trying to find this value. So this is what we first take the two's complement of the uh, subtrahend, right? What is it? It is uh, copy it until you see the first one, then invert all the bits, right? One, one, zero, one. And you see this one. You place it right here. Then you make the addition, make the necessary uh, calculation, and it produces an end carry. See, if it produces an end carry, no problem. The result is correct. Your M is larger than N, and the result is this one. No correction is required. However, take a look at this one. You're trying to subtract this subtrahend from your minuend, okay? And you take the two's complement of this number, you copy it until you see the first one, then invert the numbers and add it, right? And the result is this one, but it produces no 
output carry. So it, what does it mean? It means that it, it has to be corrected. Correcting it means what? So what we do here is copy you it until you see the first one, then you just uh, inverse those bits, you see zero, 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 one, zero, zero, zero. So this will be your result here. Now it is corrected and you append the minus sign on its left. So this is your result. This is called unsigned twos complement subtraction. How we do this? All right. But you can also use signed integers for this purpose. It means that we will reserve a bit for storing the sign value as well. So for positive numbers, we use zero. For negative numbers, we use one. That's it. That's how we represent it. And we always, or let's say almost always, generally, this is a convention. Your sign bit is your much significant bit here. And this is your, uh, this is how you understand that whether your number is a, a positive or negative number okay uh, and sometimes this part is directly the magnitude sometimes the value is w uh, uh, within the number as total in two's complement form now let's take a look at signed integer representations in signed magnitude form here the remaining n minus one digits are interpreted as a positive magnitude and the left uh, most uh, or most significant bit is your sign value. That's it. But in signed complement form here, the digits are interpreted as the rest of the complement of the number. And there are two possibilities here. You can use signed once complement form, which uses once complement arithmetic or signed twos complement form, which uses signed twos complement arithmetic. That's it. So this is how we look for n equals three digits here these are the examples if you have your base as two which is your binary uh, base in its signed magnitude form see you see it's three two one zero one two three but if you have zero here so it must be a plus 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 and this plus 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 this is very interesting you will have a negative or minus zero here as well but of course, you never use negative zero or something. This is wasted. You can consider it like this. But that's the idea, okay, uh, of the sign magnitude notation. In once complement form, signed once complement form, this is your plus three, plus two, plus one, and zero. And if you take the uh, complement of, of this one, you will have your minus zero. If you take the complement of this one, you will have your, you see, back, you see, uh, directly once complement you see it's your uh, what minus one and uh, the once complement of this one is your minus two and once complement of this one is your minus three here this is about the once complement notation and how about the sign two's complement notation here so you will have your again this is your basic uh, three two one and zero here and you, when you take the twos complement here, uh, what you have here will be, uh, okay, this one is uh, the uh, minus one will look like this, right? See the, this one, minus one will be one, one, one. And minus two will be, look at this, uh, zero, one, one. Okay, zero, one, one, see this one. And finally, this one is what? One, zero, one, right? One. Zero one is this one, and there will be also one zero zero, which will correspond to minus four impact. That you can rep uh, you don't represent it here like this, but uh, this is a much more convenient uh, representation where you get rid of this minus zero thing, and you also have another meaningful uh, mathematical value here that can uh, be used or represented, which is nice. All right, so. Uh, let's continue with the signed magnitude arithmetic. Here, if the parity of the three signs is zero, we add a magnitude and check for an overflow, the carry out of the most significant bit. 
if the sign and the sign of the result is the same as the sign of the first operand if your all uh, if the parity of your all three signs is zero if the parity of your three signs is one uh, what, what do we mean here you know you have your first number here and it is sign bit first number here in a sign bit and here your he will you will have your operation uh, subtraction or uh, uh, addition for addition it would be corresponding to zero uh, by it means of parity and for subtraction it will correspond to uh, one so here you will have your zeros and one as well what we're talking about is the uh, parity of those three bits right these ones uh, those three bits and if the parity of the three signs is one you subtract the second magnitude from the first and if a borrow occurs you take the two's complement of the result and make the result sign the complement of the sign of the first operand that's it and in this sense overflow will ne never occur now let's take a look at some uh, examples together and uh, try to solve them uh, here what you see here is first decide whether the parity of the uh, those uh, three bits is uh, even or odd if it is uh, even okay as you see your plus is also zero so it's even parity you add the magnitudes right and check for overflow Let's add the magnitudes here, and the result will be what? Would be 1, 1, 1, 0, right? And is there a carry out? No. Uh, so, uh, uh, no problem. Here, you, what you'll have here is in sign magnitude notation, it is uh, 7. Okay. So, uh, what was this one? It was 2. What was this one? It was 5 uh, for double checking. Okay. How about this one? Okay, this one. Let's take a look at this. So it's zero, zero, one. See, your parity is odd. It means that you need to subtract, subtract the uh, uh, first number, uh, second number from the first one here. Now let's make the subtraction here. It means that uh, the the parity is odd here. You need to subtract. So it is uh, the it's one. And there is a barrow here, so this one is cancelled. What you have here will be zero. And you need to have a barrow here from your neighbor. Two minus one is one. And there is a, a barrow here. You need to pay your debt first, right? And you take a debt from your neighbor, and this is your barrow out. And two minus one is uh, your. Uh, uh, one here now uh, you take you take the uh, what was the uh, I mean uh, our methodology here you take two's complement of the result and make the result sign the complement of the sign of the uh, first operand here you take the uh, two's complement of the result which is uh, your uh, okay this one focus on this one it is what one one zero and the uh, let's say sign bit will be the complement of this one which would be one zero one one okay let's uh, check it whether uh, uh, it's correct okay this one is your two and uh, this one is your what it is uh, you take the uh, two's complement of this number it is uh, it's one, one zero it's uh, minus three uh, right it's it should be or minus three oops no it's minus five and this would be or minus three here all right so good and how about this one this is again and we check our parity here it's one one see here 
even parity it means that we will add the magnitudes here one 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 and uh, so uh, the this one is coming uh, directly like this so you uh, you added the uh, magnitudes here and this one is coming directly here and the result is this one which is i think a minus uh, seven right and whether this is correct let's check so this one is your minus two this one is your plus uh, five then you subtract them you will get this one okay this is about signed magnitude arithmetic in signed complement arithmetic you add the numbers including the sign bits as well and discarding a carry out of the sign bits is uh, or you can use an end around carry for one's complement or discard the carry out of the sign bits in two's complement arithmetic and if the sign bits were same for the both numbers and the sign of the result is different an overflow it means that an overflow has occurred and uh, the sign of the result is directly computed in step one as well in subtraction is just complement the numbers you are subtracting and follow the rules for the, the addition that's it now let's do it with the uh, sign the uh, ones complement example first before we proceed to sign uh, two's complement example let's go ahead and do with sign the uh, once complement example here so we will have one one zero zero one one zero zero plus here you directly make the operation here okay what we're doing here is signed once complement arithmetic here so uh, what you have here will be zero 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 you have a carry of one here so what you have here is that one if an end around carry occurs this one look at what is your end around carry this one you add this end around carry so it would be added here coming here because it occurred the result will be one zero zero one so let's check if it is correct so look at the magnitudes here inside once uh, when you i mean uh, take the inverse of this directly you will have the uh, result here which is your in fact it should be minus three and this one is also your minus three when you add them together if you uh, take the inverse of this one directly it is your minus six right so it is correct so how can you check this you can also use the uh, uh, table if you like like uh, this table can be convenient if you if, if you want to i mean if you're not familiar or want to check you can use this table but of course of course this is just for uh, i mean uh, three digits here but what we're doing here is uh, n equals four including the sign bit okay what we're doing is like this this is for um signed once complement example this was for signed once complement example and let's take a look at signed two's complement example it's even easier pretty straightforward because we discard the uh, output carry here and the result is direct so what we have here is zero one zero one zero one zero and uh what's it is it one out and this is discarded right and the result is zero okay i hope i did this correct let me check so what is this it is in fact plus three and what is this i can understand this if i take the two's complement of it which is one one zero zero oh you see this one is minus three so i understand because immerse of it is plus three so i understand that it is minus three so result is correct now let's do this operation so you uh, now we make a subtraction here just take the two's complement of the second number and add them together it would 
just turn into this. 1, 0, 1, 1 is added together. So you see, see what I did here. And the result will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, and 1. But this is discarded in 2's complement arithmetic. And the result is this one. But what is it? What is it? If I want to understand what is it, I need to take the 2's complement of it, which is your what? Minus 6. So you, your result is minus 6. But is it correct? Let, let's check. What is this? What is this? I need to understand first. It is 1, 1, 0, 0, which is your minus 3, right? This one is your minus 3. And what is this? It is your plus 3 and uh, uh, minus 3 plus 3 subtracted is your minus 6 and the result is correct. So you can check your results like this. That's the idea. And finally, if you want to build a two's complement adder subtractor circuit here, now I want you to remember our cumbersome or ugly or complex adder subtractor circuit here. Please remember this. We had a subtractor like this, right? For uh, doing uh, addition or subtraction based on our selection between two numbers. Two numbers. And like, look how beautiful our signed complement, signed two's complement solution here is. Uh, please, please come down. Come down. Okay, this one. This beauty. Okay, here is it. What you have here is, look at this. You have two numbers here. I mean, this one. Yeah. And your, okay. If you have your, uh, um, the, the, the selection operations single here, if it is a zero, it will make a addition operation. If you XOR a number with zero, it means that it will be right the same number, right? So it means that it will work as a as an uh, adder here in this sense. And you make the operation here, some carry out some, what you have here is the ripple carry adder structure. So some is working, oh great. Uh, addition is working, oh great. But if this is one, what happens? Take a look at this and your carry in was also zero, right? For addition. And, but if your uh, selection is one, so it is for subtraction here. If you XOR a number with uh, one, it means that you are taking the complement of it. What you have here will be B0 not, B1 not, B2 not, B3 not. Remember, this is familiar, right? It is one's complement of the number. If you, okay, you have two numbers here, A and B here. So you took the one's complement here, one's complement here and add it with two, like a one's complement of the number. But if you add a plus one as well here, uh, so it would be your uh, two's complement, right? So this is where the beauty is. The plus one is coming from right here in the carry in bit this time. And this will work perfectly as a binary adder subtractor uh, circuit using two's complement arithmetic.